Hi, kids. All right. Um, we started this year by talking about how light is a wave and all the examples of how light is a wave. You know, light refracts, light defracts, light has, you can get interference um, with light. So therefore, light must be a wave. And then all of a sudden we learned, well, wait a second. If light was a wave, then when you heat something up, you should get all of the different colors right away and you don't get all the colors you get red first and which then led us to this idea that well maybe light is actually and, and Planck's idea of well geez maybe light comes in little packets little particles and then uh, Einstein and actually Einstein won the Nobel Prize for this Einstein came up with the photoelectric effect uh, that further proved that light is actually a particle and then in 1922, Arthur Compton did an experiment where he's like, well, if light is a particle, you should have collisions with light, just like you can have collisions with particles. And believe it or not, he did experiments where he shot photons of light at electrons, and the electrons actually moved like a collision, okay? Now, the photons had to be really small wavelength, which I'll show you why in a minute, but that actually happened. And that's pretty cool stuff if you think about it. So, let's go back to AP1, which says momentum is equal to mass times velocity. Okay? So, if we're going to try to prove that momentum, like light, has momentum, then this equation should be true. Well... If you think about this equation, if we're talking about light, you have E equals mc squared. You also have C for the speed of light equals the frequency times the wavelength. Okay, so let's keep that in mind. And we're going to plug some stuff in here. So if I want to solve this for mass, I would get energy over C squared. Okay, so ready? I, my momentum is going to equal this energy over c squared times this okay well actually let's do it this way times i'll just do it times c and then i'll cancel and then i'll do that times c because we're talking about light it's gonna move at the speed of light so this and that would cancel and i get this well remember e equals hf for light C is F times wavelength, which means my F goes away, which means momentum equals H times, or H over wavelength, okay? And if you look on your equation sheet, it is there, so make sure you can see it on, and find it on your equation sheet, because it's important to be able to use the equation sheet well. But really, here's what this is saying. The momentum of an object is going to be Planck's constant, remember, super small number, okay? divided by the wavelength. So the only way that you can actually have a normal momentum, like, is you have to have a wavelength that is ridiculously small, which is why Compton used um, x-rays to figure that out. Okay, so there you go. So momentum, so a particle, like, sorry, a light wave can have momentum based on that. All right, bye, kids.